Hey Dad, here's an interesting sentence. The mink is closely related to the weasel, but he never attends family reunions. I can understand that. Family can be so annoying. Wait a second. I'm part of your family. Yeah, I know. Listen, uh, if you folks out there want to work out this sentence for yourself, this would be a good time to pause. But don't forget to come back for our explanation. Okay, break down the parts of speech. Well, the is an article, which is a type of adjective. Mink is a noun, and is is a verb. Closely is an adverb, and related is another verb. To is a preposition here. The is another article adjective. Weasel is a noun, but is a conjunction. He is a pronoun. Never is an adverb, and attends is a verb. Family is a noun acting as an adjective in this case, and reunions is a plural noun. Uh, there are two clauses in this sentence. The first is an independent clause. The mink is closely related to the weasel. The simple subject is mink. The simple predicate is is related. The adverb closely, which modifies related, is just stuck in between the verbs. Then we have the prepositional phrase to the weasel. To is the preposition, and weasel is the object of the preposition, and the whole phrase is the direct object of the sentence. The second clause is also independent. The simple subject is he, and the simple predicate is attends. The ad adverb never modifies attends. Reunions is the direct object of the sentence and is modified by the noun family, which in this case acts as an adjective. Finally, we have the coordinating conjunction but to hold the two sentences together. It is a coordinating conjunction because both clauses are independent. Also note that we use a comma to separate the two independent clauses. Now, um, do you think that the mink is being snobbish because he doesn't want to attend family reunions? No, it isn't snobbish if you have better things to do and you find your family annoying. Wait a second. What's this, this is annoying stuff all the time? There are a lot of ways to look at these sentences. Maybe you found something we missed. Or maybe Daddy got something completely wrong. Or maybe you have a question or a comment or a sentence to challenge us with. We want to hear from you in the comment section below. We're not the grammar police. We're just trying to figure this out like everybody else. So be kind to us and to each other. If you enjoy these videos, be sure to like us, pin us, or tweet us. And don't forget to subscribe. And don't forget to check out our other channel, Profs Pop, where we go on cultural and historical adventures. And there will be more good and well grammar videos coming soon.